So today we've come to Park Talon Land. We have no idea what's here. We just found it on the map, made our way over. There's some rapids. Well, we're going to start going uphill because if we go down, it means we're going to come back up. Because if we go back up, we should be able to manage to get back down. It is nice. We've got lovely flowing water and bits of autumn colour. Not that much though. Quite a lot of it's just like. Greens paled rather than gone red. Oh, and somebody's lost their football as well. Uh, what you need when you've got a fence made of a bit of string and some matchsticks is a nice sturdy gate. It's like it's got trees right opposite, you can't even open the gate. I'm not sure that is a river, I think it's just a stream. Uh, it's quite ferocious, and there's a dog. It's probably something to do with mining. It was probably a feed, water feed to a mine or something. Do you think it's um, man-made? It looks it might be, doesn't it? It does it's look man-made, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, with all the stages on the... Yes. Seems to be a lot of Christmas-type trees growing around here. So perhaps that's one of the local crops. The walk is starting to get a bit steeper now. It's right on the so we're deciding whether we should turn back or not. Well, we've come to the top of the hill, and I think we're going to turn round. March then back again. There's a bridge on the other side here, but the map doesn't tell you where that goes. And it looks like we're going to have to turn back anyway, because this appears to just take you out of the park. The map in the car park showed a little sort of circular track that went all the way around the park. But we've come up to the top of the hill and there's a gate that takes you out the park altogether. Rambly Trails, Rambler's Cymru. So we're off down the family trail which is basically just a few stones lying on the ground. Oh, and there's some puddles as well, so careful you don't fall in the mud. What's strange about this is it feels very, very rural, and you sort of, I don't know, feel like you're in the middle of a forest in the valleys, and then you look over to the other side, and there's a load of houses, and several people live here. Some very steep bits, and we didn't really come up here for a hike, we just thought we were going to have a little walk around the park. The view that you get is absolutely marvellous once you climb up to the top here, but uh, I think we're just going to have to go back the way we came because uh, one of the paths looks like it takes us right up into the forest and it's a fairly steep path and the other one is all full of mud and puddles so that doesn't look like it's going to be the easiest way to go. So like I think I like a lot of parks in Wales this is really just an old mine that wasn't suitable to build on or anything once the mine closed so they just decided to turn it into a park which is not a bad thing so we've come back to the part that I thought we couldn't get out of because they've introduced a sort of a one-way system so that you don't get run over by a push bike it really is quite a nice place to come for a little walk and it's very picturesque and uh, particularly in autumn, the colours are very pretty. But uh, the drive here is a little bit arduous because really it's just a road through the valleys and the park just happens to be here. I'm guessing when they put this bench here you could actually see something from it. I'm not really sure what you sit and look at now though. We found the lake. Well, it's a pond really, not a lake. Now we're just trying to find how you get to it. And here we are enjoying the view of the lake, or the pond, should I say. The ducks obviously think there's some food in the offing.
Well, I think we've seen all we're going to see here, so I think we'll make our way back home. Still, it's been a very pleasant little trip. It has. Nice little place to discover.